Hey everyone, this is Ryan and I'm going to walk through how to set up your Amazon Associates account and why you would want to do that in the first place as well as how to set up the API key if you're going to be doing some more intense work with your Amazon Associates account. So let's talk about the Amazon Associates account. Amazon Associates is a program where you can earn money every time that you send someone to Amazon. Think about it like an offline business, maybe a dentist's office. If you send someone to the dentist and they mention your name, maybe the dentist will give you $100 or $25 or a free checkup. Uh, it's a similar program except here you're able to use links and those links are tracked automatically and then Amazon will pay you for each purchase that is made through their website and those purchases generally for any general products are going to be somewhere between 4% of the purchase price and 8.5% of the purchase price that goes to you and for some products it can be up to 15% of the purchase price generally that's going to be products like Kindle books and uh, products that have a very high margin for Amazon as an affiliate here's an example of some of the percentages that you can earn it's really based on how many general products are you selling in any given month and there are specific uh, regulations around this in terms of categories and that kind of thing but generally this is is what you'll see for most of the products in Amazon outside of certain categories so when we're going through and setting up your Amazon account keep in mind that at any point you can start sharing links from Amazon directly and you can do it really easily you'll be able to do it right from Amazon when you're going through and scrolling and browsing products if you see a product that you really like or you think someone else would like you can copy the link through the little toolbar that will appear at the top of your Amazon Associates account and you can share that either by email or on social media or on your website or in a review however you share it if someone goes through and purchases from that you'll earn money so now that you know why you'd want to have an Amazon Associates account I'm going to walk you through how to set that up and it's really a fairly simple process It may take you a little bit of time but count on about 15 minutes being all set up including having an API if you'd like to have that as a side note on this page the sign up page you can see that Amazon downplays the total commissions that you can earn it's because they want to set expectations up front that are more in line with what you'll be earning initially rather than the expectations of what you could be earning as a top seller so what you're going to do is type in affiliate dash program dot amazon dot com and that will take you to this landing page from here you're going to click on the highlighted join now for free button and when you do that this is what will happen you'll come to this page and you can either use your existing Amazon account or more likely you're going to just create a new customer account I like to keep my personal and my business accounts separate but it's up to you uh, if you're going to create a new account simply put the email address in that you'd like to use for this type in that you are a new customer or click I am a new customer and sign in using the secure server so click that button and when you do that this is what will happen on this page you're just going to confirm your information enter your name and then choose a password make sure you remember your password but if you forget it you can always click forgot your password and Amazon will send an, an email to the email address you provided okay now you're going to put your account information in and to do this you're going to put in your name your address your phone number and then who the main contact is for the account so who you would like to receive the payments and generally you're just going to say the payee listed above unless you have different billing information or something like that so then you're going to click next your website profile that button now what started out seeming easy is looking a little bit more complex you've got to put in a website you've got to put in information about that website but this can be something that is not yet live for example I put in veganvine.wordpress.com even though I don't even own the domain yet generally you would want to own the domain but that's not critical as long as you're planning on using that website you can go ahead and enter it in there then you're going to put the URL of the website as well I just use the same name as the URL and then just put in a word or two about what your website is about you can choose the general categories that your website fits in and what type of products you're expecting to list on the sites 
That said, you don't need to choose the products that you're going to use ahead of time exactly. If you end up using some from every category, that's fine. This is just for Amazon survey information. So really you could select anything here. Again, what type of site? How do you drive traffic? How else do you monetize? This is all information that's just generally for Amazon's information so that they can use this to better market in the future. And you can put in whatever you like here. If you don't have a website yet, just put less than 500 unique visitors. And then the primary reason for joining generally is going to be to monetize, although some people use it to get extra unique content for their website. It's not really unique, but it's content that can appear unique to visitors. Search engines will know the difference, so don't expect to make money from SEO just using Amazon's canned content. In order to use this on an SEO level, you're going to need to write some unique content around these products. Once you plug in the CAPTCHA, those random strings of numbers we all hate, click on the next button. Now Amazon is going to verify your telephone number. So put your telephone number in the box, click call me now, and they will put a pin right there on the screen. That's the pin that you enter in when they call you. And it's gonna be an automated message. You can speak the pin or you can type it in. Then click the checkbox and click finish. Now you'll receive this information. Unless you are ready to launch immediately, you don't really need to put in payment and tax information yet. So go ahead and leave that out. Down the road, whenever you decide that you'd like to really start using this to monetize, you can enter that information in, or you could just do it after you're done this initial process. It's very simple. It's right there in the Amazon Associates dashboard. Congratulations, you now have an Associates Central dashboard and your own unique tracking ID where you can start earning money as soon as you enter your payment information. You'll see right there that there's a little orange box, and that orange box is for, uh, has two links. Those two links are for you to enter your payment information, and then you also have to enter tax information before they will issue you any payments. So if you are ready to go ahead and get started, then you can enter that in. If not, just wait till later. Now, if you are going to use the product API, which generally is more complex. So if you are a business that has a programming team or a programmer who needs an API, then you've already got your first piece here. That first piece is on the left, that highlighted box there, that right underneath tracking ID says, for me, vegan by word per dash 20. That's just the automated uh, ID that Amazon decided to give me based on the name of my website that I provided they'll give you a different one. That's the first piece of information that you're going to need for your own API. So you can see here that I entered my uh, tracking ID into a spreadsheet. So at this point you know your username or your email address that you use to sign in and you know your tracking ID. You don't yet have your access key ID and your secret access key but those three things tracking ID, access key ID, and secret access key are what your programmer will need in order to hit on the API. So let's take a look at how we can grab an access key ID and a secret access ID. We're going to need to generate them through Amazon's platform. Before we do that, however, let's talk about why an API is a better way for programmers to access Amazon's data than directly through your username and password. By giving just an API key, you can revoke access to that API at any time as the owner of your account. So because you are the owner of your account and you want to be able to maintain that account and maybe switch to a different programmer in the future or have someone that's using your API stop using it, you'll be able to rev revoke access if you have an API in place. It's also a much faster way for your programmer to gather data from Amazon. It's a more secure method to access Amazon because accessing it with your username and password through a program that's created to, uh, uh, to pull that data, um, it creates greater security holes. So there's both a need to slow down the speed at which the login happens in order to minimize the likelihood of that data being hacked. and the username and password are a much shorter combination of digits, whereas the access key and secret access key are so long that it would be extremely time consuming, resource intensive and time consuming for a computer program to try all of the possible combinations in order to pull that information. 
All right, so we're back to this screen. And this screen here, you can see in the top right, we've got the Product Advertising API tab. And that's part of the main navigation menu at the top of your Amazon Associates dashboard. You can always get here by typing in affiliate-program.amazon.com. So click on that link right now, that button, Product Advertising API. And you'll come to this page. And the call to action is a little bit hidden here, but you're going to click that button that says Sign Up Now. And you may see this even after you're signed up. Amazon's gone ahead and set this page up as an HTML page without any dynamic interaction with your account. So it's always going to say sign up now, even if you're logged into your account and have already created one. So if you see this in the future and you're trying to get to your API, just click sign up now and it's going to take you to the place where you can log in to the account that you've already created. So right now, go ahead and click that. For the purposes of this demo, this is the first time that I've ever signed up for this Amazon API account. And here they're going to ask for something very similar to what they asked for before. However, here I only need to provide the required information is only the confirmation of my address and phone number. So I don't need to type it in again, just confirm it. And then my website or application description. So again, two or three words that describe your website. You can use the same thing that you used the last time. Then you'll scroll down and you'll click the checkbox to indicate that you've read and agree. And then you'll enter the CAPTCHA and click on the button complete. Congratulations, you now have a new Amazon Product Advertising API account. So let's go and manage your API credentials. And to do that, we're gonna click on this yellow highlighted link, AWS Security Credentials Console. You don't need to see this message every time you log in, so click on the checkbox and then click Continue to Security Credentials. And the website URL for this, if you need to get to it at any point, you can read up at the top. It's console.aws.amazon.com slash im iam slash home question mark pound sign security underscore credential. Uh, and so you can go ahead and put that in. You might need the HTTPS when you're putting that in and you can get back to here at any time. I recommend that you bookmark it. If you're in Chrome, it's by clicking the star and there are similar ways of bookmarking in other browsers. All right, so now you're here and you can see the highlighted yellow uh, section of this page is where you will get your access keys and that's for your access key ID and your secret access key. And you'll remember that those are the two pieces that are missing right now from the spreadsheet that you've set up. So let's go ahead and click on that now you'll see this little section and in here you'll notice that there's already one access key created however you won't be able to see the secret access key for that particular api set of keys so we're going to click on create new access key because amazon's api allows you to have two different access key sets at any time once you click on that make sure to download the key file that's something that will give you a backup in case you ever lose what you get shown here when you click on show access key. But go ahead and download that and then click on show access key and the information will be the same in both. Let's go ahead and click on show access key now. Now you're going to highlight and copy and paste those sets of keys, the access key ID and the secret access key right into that spreadsheet. And so your spreadsheet now should look like this. You've got a user, a tracking ID, an access key ID, and a secret access key. That's everything that anyone needing to use the API is going to need. Now, if you're not sure that you did this correctly, you can go to this website, associates-amazon.s3.amazonaws.com slash scratchpad slash index.html. And when you do that, you'll notice a bunch of fields on the left-hand side and you're going to put in your associate tag ID, your access key ID, and your secret key, and it's going to allow you to test the API and make sure that your authentication is correct. For operation, you can just go ahead and choose item search. For keywords, I put Wookie in because I'm a big fan of Wookiees, but you can choose whatever you like. And I chose images. So if you choose Wookiee and images, that's probably a good way to go because you'll be able to see that your results come out similar to mine, or if they don't, and you don't get good results, you'll be able to go back and refollow those steps that I showed you to make sure that you get this in correctly. 
At this point, go ahead and click on Run Request, that button down the bottom, and something like this should come up for you. Voila! Now we've got a set of results from the API that Amazon has given back to us based on our requests. So we've seen now that this is working. You can notice that there are a lot of results to scroll down on, on that right-hand scroll bar. So this is a sign that the API is working properly and that our authentication is correct. Now if you forget your access key credentials, you can always go back and create a new access key with new credentials. However, you can't view those old credentials, so you will need to create a new set and share those with your programmer. What you'll need to do, however, is click delete on the most recent set of credentials, the most recent access key idea that was created, an access key set, because you can only have two of those at once. So delete it and then click on create new access key and you'll simply repeat the step I showed you earlier. Now you can always get back to that section with the API keys by typing in the website address I showed you. However, you can also get back there right from your affiliate program Amazon Associates dashboard. And so from affiliate-program.amazon.com you can click on product advertising API and you're going to go through, like I said before, similar steps. You've got this sign up now button even though you've already signed up, but just click on that and you'll see, welcome back, you've already created an account. You'll click on manage your account and you'll come to this page again. Everything's looking familiar here, right? So now you click on that link and you'll be transported back here. One thing to note is that inside of this particular platform you will have a whole number of other options and it's easy to get lost. So if you don't want to type in that entire domain again, or that URL that you saw at the top, but you want to get back from a page that looks a little bit like this, here's what you'll do. Click on your name or your account name. You can see that highlighted. It's orange up at the top right. And then click on security credentials. And presto changeo, we're back to the right page. Thank you so much for joining me on this. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always email me, ryan at ryandraving.com. And if you'd like to schedule a consultation, just type in ryandraving.com and request a call.